yourself, sis. Which is not good news. Stay alert. There's down. Oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. A token of gratitude. <sighs> Ader! I have to get to the center, get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides... Appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. If men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Got my eyes on you, Pilgrim. Don't cause no ruckus here. This is PK territory. Aiden, still alive? Not worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. 
One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else was there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar. Simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, Free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. 
But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? A sheep. I'm no threat to you. That's exactly what a wolf would say. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? Well, let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well. But mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. <laughs> Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. A certain transaction? Is that anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers. And that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean, exactly? 
It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about him. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. That. I'm just giving you information. Yesterday, Dan just thinks you're getting out of control. Back in the day, I had a huge Have you seen a ginger and massive bastard <laughs> stole my lap. That's a bottle. Of well, and, uh, a workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. I invite you to browse. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their... F fuckwits Who? That fellow! Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, uh, a hundred and... Uh, uh, Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. The best over the bazaar is here. For you. I'm just giving you information. And just between us, we don't regret. Come here. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney! Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. 
He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen. You said it yourself. You're new here. So you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here. And he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck.